All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we are in the freeware aircraft from Rockwell. Uh, I, I think it's uh, North America makes this. It's Rockwell 0V-10A Bronco. Comes with three different liveries. It has a cruising speed of 244 knots, 30,000 um, for the, uh, I guess, ceiling level, if you will. Five hours of duration and 1,200 nautical miles. Today, we're going to just take a look at this freeware aircraft. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can get this, which is Flight Sim.2. Um, pretty cool for a freeware. Now, let's go ahead and jump inside and see what it has to offer. We'll do a little bit of a flight, test it out, see how it flies, see how it handles. Uh, probably try to land it and take off, you know do a little bit of flight testing with it um if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing this is an aviation enthusiast channel and uh, we're growing strong i really appreciate all the support of the channel each and every one of you guys i really do and with that being said um let's go ahead and get into this video now it is a very tiny looking aircraft pretty cool indeed though a uh, little twin engine action going on here but for a freeware, this is quite good. To be honest with you, uh, I'm pretty surprised how good it is, being that it's freeware. A lot of clickable spots here. Flaps, I believe even the canopy opens outwards here, which is uh, quite cool to see. You know, a little outside air. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get this baby started up and uh, see how it flies, see how it handles. Let's see if there's a checklist for this thing. To be honest with you, um, I don't think there is. So uh, we'll just go ahead and get it started here. So I'm turning the battery on. I don't think it's too difficult to have this thing started anyway. It's pretty uh, standard stuff here. So turn the avionics on. I'm just going to turn the avionics on quite a bit early here. Oxygen supply should be set already. Strobe lights and beacon lights, uh, I set, should say beacon lights can go on here. So a little bit of clickable switches as well. Fuel pump um, external, you have that as well. Emergency shutoff if you need emergency shutoff. Is your props levelers, we'll set those to normal so I don't think these really move what the flight characteristics it doesn't look like they will which is kind of interesting I have it set on um, the right propeller side but it doesn't look like it wants to work so we'll go ahead and crank it over here now you could hear the compressor going on there for the startup of the aircraft which is pretty interesting and there we go I don't know if that's true to the real world sound, but. Quite interesting, nevertheless. All right, there you go. Condition levers are fully forward. And it looks like left and right gen are not on, so let's go ahead and turn those on now. Oh, they should be on. Yeah, they they are set to on. So let's see. Just want to make sure our altimeter is set here. Hmm, quite interesting. I want to set the generator right and left on here. Huh. Interesting. 
I'm not sure what's going on with that. It says that the left and right generator are not working, but I believe they are on. I don't know if uh, I missed something here, so pedo heat is on here. Inertial on. Okay. Fuel gauge check. External lights. The old damper. That's already set. I guess that's a compass. Sink. Oh, windshield wipers on now. Okay, I don't know why the windshield wipers on. Hmm. All right, well, the windshield wiper works. None of, the, none of these switches are active. Um, I'm not 100% sure how to turn off the wipers. Where did I, did I accidentally hit a switch where the wipers are? Oh. There we go. Okay, I found it. All right, so that's good. We are set. Let's go ahead and take off the brake here and uh, get on our way. Laps. It squats really quite nicely. Look. So it definitely um, sits down very nicely, which is pretty crazy to see, right? All right, let's go take a little bit of a flight with it. Maybe we'll do a little bit of landing test and uh, see how this thing acts in the air. I'm just shortcutting through the runway here. No big deal. Don't pay attention to me. We're going to just take off right here so uh, the video doesn't go too long for you guys. But um, this is a freeware aircraft. Doesn't have a lot of switches, but it definitely handles pretty decently. Uh, I got to sync up some of this stuff. It's not all synced up with my controls today for some reason. Um, so there's probably a little bit of work to be done with that, which is to be expected when you switch into different aircraft sometimes. They have different things that control so but quite nice handling on the ground especially for a freeware aircraft uh i'm not going to complain definitely cool we're just going to go onto the runway here i've been meaning to do a re video review of this aircraft for a while now and i have not gotten to it but definitely worth worth checking out especially free i mean all right i'm putting a lot of left rudder in right now and our power is set coming up on 50 knots I'm putting a lot of left rudder in right now 90 knots let's go ahead and pull back Wow not bad it really just goes whoop, right up in the air let's go ahead flaps up and let's check out the gear It handles uh, quite nice. It's uh, pretty interesting the way it feels. I'm going to just trim up here. Definitely an interesting aircraft for sure. This is West Palm Beach. We're just going to turn left and go out towards the ocean here and come back around. It's not bad. Not bad at all. A little bit of a slow climb. Let's trim out. I don't know if there's an autopilot that's functional in this thing or not. I don't think it is. This is kind of like a fun aircraft if you just want to hand fly it around. I think it has a basic autopilot, I believe. Nevertheless, it has a really cool... If Like, this is a good one if you want to really have... A lot of views of everything around you. you can really see pretty much anywhere and everywhere you're going 
What are we doing? About 130 knots or so. Let's go ahead and pull back the propellers. And see if that changes anything. Supposedly, it's supposed to pull back the propellers here. Now I'm going to put in a little bit more power. Okay. Airspeed's coming up. It's quite a quick aircraft. You see the airplanes coming into West Palm down there. We're going to join them. Just wanted to see how this thing handles. Alright, let's go ahead and pull back on the stick here. Let's do a power stall. Let's see how this thing acts. 3,000. There we go. Pulling back, pulling back. Just wanting to drop the right wing there. Okay. Let's try to get it back under control here. Okay, we're back under control. Back under control here. And uh, now we're just going to turn back around. So far, not bad. I'm going to try to do a landing with this, see how that feels. We'll try a little bit of a touch and go. Let's see how it goes. I like it, though. For a freeware, you really can't beat it. It's something fun to play around with. Okay, I'm going to pull some power back out with we'll nose down a little bit here, come back around. I'm not sure what the airspeeds are for landing this thing, but I would imagine you don't have to go too fast since it's light and high wing. Very small aircraft. Let's see if I can join the pattern down here. We're a little bit high for that, but... I'm going to fly right over top of this airplane. Should be able to see him coming out underneath us here in a minute. There he is. Alright, let's try to join in. I don't, I think we're going to overshoot the runway here, for sure. Let's just aboard that, power back in here, flaps are coming back up. And we'll go back out towards the ocean. Not a bad aircraft at all. Very fun. It handles very nicely, too. The roll rate's good. I like it. That's a lot of those creaky sounds. I guess that's a lot of default ones. So we'll go ahead and turn. Come back out towards the ocean now. And then uh, we'll keep an eye on our altitude. 2,200 feet here. I want to keep kind of low here. As we'll come back in for a touchdown. I want to try this aircraft out. We can even probably get off uh, at this air, this one, but um, we'll shoot out to the ocean here. Maybe we should try this one here. We can land right there if you guys want. Let's try it out. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to pull back the power and uh, we'll go ahead and put another notch of flaps in. We'll bleed off some of this air speed on the turn in. Nose down here. Flaps coming out. Pretty 
pretty cool animation of gear too, I gotta say. I like the animation of the gear. This really, it really, once you get this thing in the air, man, it does not want to come out. Doesn't want to come out of the ground here, so. Let's go ahead and nose it down here. Okay. Let's give it a little bit of ease here. It's a terrible landing, but hey. Let's try to get back to the center line. Not bad. I wonder what they use these aircrafts for. Pretty cool, nevertheless. Let's see what it looks like at night here. So, this is the night time. Not bad. I don't know, guys. What do you think? For a freeware, I'll link it um, to the Just Flight Sim 2. And uh, I guess you'll just have to look up the name of the aircraft in there. And then you should be able to find it. But uh, there you go, guys. Let's go ahead and put the real world back time. Just pull over here. bus crashed into us. Unreal. Probably a Miami driver. Alright, let's put the brakes set. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't crash. Now, <laughs> this is one way to shut off your aircraft. I did a wheelie. Alright, so you don't ever want to do what I just did, but there you go. That's how you do a wheelie with this aircraft. I'm sure that hasn't been done yet in the sim. So there you go. I guess we can be the first. There you have it, guys. That is the North American Rockwell, a uh, 0V-10 Bronco for free. 
If you guys do like this, um, I'll leave a link in the description underneath. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching. Bye now.